In the previous lesson we have reviewed keyboard shortcuts that allow us to quickly navigate in the file explorer. And in addition to those keyboard shortcuts in this lesson we're going to review a couple of more shortcuts that allow us to interact with the file explorer. So the first shortcut is letter R which is responsible for renaming currently active file. After we rename the file we just have to press enter to accept this change. Next if we we'll press D it is going to show us the confirmation to remove the file. So to cancel this confirmation let's press escape. Or if we want to confirm we have to press enter. Next key Y allows us to copy selected files. For example I would like to copy icons.ts so I position selection on this file then press Y and then navigate to the folder I would like to copy this file into. So to paste just copied file we have to press P and as we can see the file was copied. So let's remove this duplicate by pressing D and confirm in our action by pressing enter. And check another shortcut. So if we'll press X instead of copying it is going to cut the file so we can navigate to another place and in the same way paste this file by pressing P. Next one besides opening file from the file explorer in the main window we can also open it up in the new split. For this instead of pressing enter we need to press V. And as we can see the new split was created. Let's close this additional split and review a couple more shortcuts. So to quickly create new file in the file explorer we have to press A then assign name to the newly created file and press enter or escape if we'd like to discard file creation. Now let's remove newly created file in the file explorer by pressing letter D and confirming this action by pressing enter. In addition to files we can also create folders. To do so we need to press shift A. I'm going to remove this newly created folder with the name utils by pressing D. And the last shortcut we're going to review in this lesson allows us to put the focus on the currently selected file in the file explorer. So for example we have scrolled in the sidebar somewhere where currently active file is not visible anymore and to quickly put the focus on the currently selected file we need to press shift R. And as we can see currently selected file which is constants.ts becomes visible in the file explorer again. And at this point we have already reviewed all the features of VS Code new Vim extension that I use the most. So hopefully some of these shortcuts were helpful to you and you will integrate them into your workflow. Link to the repository of this playlist will be in the video description.